to Hiroshima, we just overshot our station and now we're on our way to Hiroshima, probably we'll be there in one hour. Yesterday we interviewed Dr. Imanaka, who's a scientist at a nuclear lab just outside of Osaka. And it was a pretty dismal industrial area, uh, built far enough away from the town, obviously, so they could experiment with nuclear fission. And it was strange to be somewhere that was created right after uh, the bombing in Hiroshima. And it was amazing to hear a lead researcher talk about how dangerous nuclear power is and how the authorities who he writes papers for are not listening to him. And so we decided to come to Hiroshima and we're on our way there now and I'm not sure exactly uh, what it is we want to do there other than some kind of pilgrimage that uh, I think is really important uh, just to be able to walk the streets of Hiroshima, to talk to people, to go to the museum, and as part of the pilgrimage to being awake, I think it's important to, to really look at the effects not just of uh, nuclear power, not just of radiation, but also of the part in us um, that is competitive and greedy and can go to war. I think it'll be moving to go to Hiroshima, and also I don't know what I think right now. Some part of my mind is trying to figure out how to tell this new story. And when we asked Dr. Imanaka, how do people create a new story? How do we let go of our old stories? And can people change? He just started laughing. And I felt in his laugh a kind of anxiety that he really um, didn't know. And neither do I right now.